Hello viewers, Super GT here. I'm on the way to getting or collecting a brand new car. It's been a long time. You probably don't even know what I'm driving right now. I'm driving my Abarth Punto. It's a good old Punto, which I've had for about seven years. But it's time for an upgrade. Um, you can probably tell by the thumbnail, because a BMW M2 competition. We're very close to the dealership, so let's go and have a look. So where are you? Where art thou, car? Just have a quick look at it. There she is. Right, that's enough driving this car. Let's go and get that one. See, we've got a ton of that downforce here. We'll be going past the Ferrari F1 car in no time. Hash, hashtag blessed. The um, all the uh, triple set stuff. Manual. Like, what else do you need? Don't need that. So you got that piece. All good to go. Ready to go. Not bad, huh? Oh, oh, there you go. Man. Thank you so um, much. It's been a pleasure. You have to tune into the, the video very soon. Absolutely. You'll see yourself in there, maybe. Hopefully. You never know. Juicy mileage, nine miles. Oh my god! I've already lost so much value just driving off the forecourt. Truly horrific. Truly horrific scenes here. Eight mpg. I can't believe I'm driving this car. How has this happened? This is mad. This is mental. Hello, viewers. So you join me here six weeks after I got the car and I wanted to wait this long so that I can give you a, a proper review of the car, what I thought about the car, what I think about the car and reasons why I bought it. The car is actually a bit dirty at the moment, not on the inside so much but on the outside so I'm just going to go and take it to a car wash, get it cleaned and then I'll give you the reasons why I bought it and my thoughts on the car so far. Do have to fill the car up. Uh, do spend a fair amount of time in petrol stations. To be fair, so that was 38 liters. I was on the last line, not zero, the one next to it. So it wasn't quite empty, but 38 liters, so maybe just over 40 liters for a full tank, and that was a uh, 48 pound. So I have to buy the full octane stuff, but anyway. So, why buy a BMW M2 competition? Why did I buy this car? Okay, well there's, well, there's quite a few reasons. Number one, I wanted something that was definitely an upgrade on my previous car. It was about time that I got something new, something of an upgrade, and the car that I got after that car had to be a serious step up in every department. Another really big reason for buying the BMW M2 competition is that you can get it in manual. So I've got the manual gearbox here, and I love the manual gearbox. The whole thing about this car is that it's the ultimate driver's car, and I feel like I just really want to have a great driving experience, because I love driving, I love sim racing of course, I love kart racing, I love just racing and driving, I just love the experience of driving and therefore I wanted to have all of that in this car. So we've got the manual gearbox, we've got a rear wheel drive which is probably the best type of drive to have in a sports car 
And just all of those things added together that just mean that this car is just such a good driver's car. There is of course also just the aesthetic. I think it's a really good looking car. I think it just has a, it has that sort of German finesse to it, but it also has sort of a muscular look to it. But overall, I think it's a really good looking car. The only bad downside I would say is the, um, the muffler at the back. We can talk about that later. But um, on the whole, it's a, it's a good looking car. Also, maybe the rims. The rims look all right especially when they're clean, which I've just cleaned them. But um, when they're dirty, there's better rims out there. And then of course, we have the engine, more than four, more than 400 horsepower in this thing. So it, it, it really does fly. And <laughs> that's an upgrade on my previous cars. My last car was um, 180. The size of the car as well, because you, you look at a BMW M3 or an M4, and those cars are pretty big. This is just about the right size, I'd say. I don't want a huge car. I want a car that I can drive quite comfortably in the smaller roads that we have here in the UK. But at the moment, I'm just driving, actually, to go meet Jimmy Broadbent. We're going to have a little bit of a, a drive. He's got his Skyline or the BMW M2, so two very different cars. But it uh, should be good fun, actually. But roads like this, this car is just absolutely brilliant on roads like this it just has so much grip i haven't even got it in sport plus mode at the moment i've got it in the efficient in comfort mode in terms of the engine power and the suspension and steering but even on those settings through roads like this it really just it just handles so well any corner you throw at this car it just goes around without problem it just chews up corners like they're nothing i know it is a very sporty car but um, I have actually managed to get 35 mpg on the motorway. So if I'm, if I'm driving, let's say, average 70 miles per hour or less, 65, you can get over 30 mpg, which is actually really not too bad for a car like this. Let's go to the downsides first. That's more interesting. Uh, number one would be sort of the clutch and the biting point. Um, it is quite tricky to get used to in this car. Um, I found especially driving through London, engaging first gear and the biting point and shifting from first to second can feel a little bit clunky. You see that, a bit of a clunk from first to second. You do have to get it right. It's not too much of a problem, but it is, you know, it's a manual. Driving in traffic isn't going to be great. But yeah, another, another downside I would say is we spoke about it earlier, is the muffler. It looks a bit ugly, I'd say. It's, it really sticks out. So I'm thinking of getting a new exhaust or getting it painted black so you can't quite see it. In terms of the speed, um, this thing, it is just ridiculous. When, when that turbo kicks in, usually around 3K RPM or 2.5, that's where you really feel the speed. I mean, we've got 60 coming up here. I can, I'm going 40. I'm going to start at two and a half. <laughs> it just goes. There it is. The skyline. Hello, viewer. Doesn't look too bad. Look who I found. Hello, everyone. Hello, viewer. Doing? Not in the Fiesta today. Who would win? One thick Japanese boy or one thick German boy? Getting a quick lift in the real OG machine. Go a hundred. That. <laughs> Not speeding footage. No. There we go, right. Quick driving that beast. Let's get back in this one. Forget that max speed 15 miles an hour sign that was just there. You didn't see that, we'll edit that out. much power 
as well. You can just do overtakes like that so easily. You don't even have to think. All right, so we just pulled up in a car park. Let's have a look at the interior. We've got the M2 competition door thing here. Pretty nice touch. Um, so there it is. So, oh, it's hard to get a zoom on this. There's the wheel. So I have these buttons here, M1 and M2, have them mapped to like certain settings. Uh, let me show you. If I go to 27 MPG, not too bad. So M drive one, M, uh, M1. Oh, I need to start the engine. Right? There we go. Uh, so you can see there, a bit on efficient and comfort, M1 for M2, set it to Sport Plus and everything. So when I'm feeling into the mood, M2 is the button you press. Music, CD player, heating, yeah, boring. Uh, so here's a look at the gearbox. If it focuses, there it is. Manual gearbox. Got the trash control off. That's the death button. TCS off. I don't even know what these other ones do. Oh, these are change the driving modes. And then that turns the parking sensor off. So if I put it in reverse, you can see I have the reversing sensor. And it, if I turn the wheel, you see it adjusts the lines to where you're parking. So that's that's pretty useful. And then of course, manual handbrake. I don't know if you guys hate button handbrakes, but I do. So I'm gl so glad I have the normal handbrake. And then that's the button to adjust the infotainment system. Really easy to use, click it down and uh, yeah, very, 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 very good. Look who we have here. It's Mr. Broadbent. <laughs> um, what else can I show you? The dials, of course, let's have a look. Um, kind of simple really, does, does everything you need it to do. Not too much to say about that. Uh, the super rare indicator stalk, there it is. It actually exists. You can see actual proof of me indicating. But well, not too much else to say really. Something else that I love is the um, the, the Hi-Fi system. The uh, Harman Kardon. Absolutely love it. Whip out the old intro song. There we go. Bad boy up. Feel the bass. go everyone thank you so much for watching um that's just my bmw m2 competition absolutely love the thing hope you do too uh, thank you for watching the video much appreciated if you have any questions about the car then uh just comment away and i'll try to get back to you um but let me know your thoughts on the car do you like it or is it a scheisenwagen maybe but that's all from me today thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel Give us a like, Instagram, Twitter, all there to be followed in the description. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.